Let's move on to some royal stories now. The Princess of Wales will attend the Troop in the Colour Ceremony on June 8th. This is according to the Ministry of Defence in what is the first announcement of her return to official duty since undergoing abdominal surgery. Kensington Palace yet to confirm that news. And this comes as Kate was apparently pictured for the first time since her hospitalisation being driven in Windsor by her mother. Now, the photograph, which many of you have probably seen somewhere online, was obtained by American outlet TMZ, reportedly taken by an unauthorised paparazzi, and we will not be showing it. Meanwhile, the King is facing growing calls from campaigners to say sorry and make reparations for ancestral links to slavery. So there's a lot to go over. Unpacking all the latest on all things royal with me is royal biographer Tom Bauer. Always good to see Hi. you in the studio. Thank you for coming in. Um, first off, the photograph, because I think that's what a lot of people will be thinking. Why aren't you showing it to us this evening? Um, explain to us what happens when you have things like an unauthorised paparazzi picture and why that's different from an official one. Well, I think it all just started really with the death of Diana when the paparazzi were accused of hounding her in the chase into the tunnel where she sadly died. And the argument after that was that the paparazzi shouldn't be rewarded for uh, taking photographs which are totally unofficial and, on the other hand, also often very destructive. And, obviously, the palace and the Prince and Princess of Wales have consistently asked for the privacy to be maintained. The last we saw of Kate sort of in public was around Christmas time, so that's why the speculation mill has been in overdrive. Do you think this latest announcement from the Ministry of Defence that she's going to be at the Troopy of the Colour, albeit months away, will put some of that speculation to bed? Yes, I do, and I think also the sighting was very helpful because I think that a lot of people... I mean, the me social media went absolutely mad about mm -hmm. uh, speculation. But I think she has been very ill, there's no doubt about it, and I think the recovery is much longer than the palace initially indicated that we be over by Easter. But, listen, I'm delighted that she's going to come back. I think the royal family relies on her. I think British uh, values rely on her. She's a wonderful person, and uh, we just hope that the pressure on her hasn't actually deteriorated, hampered her recovery. Remind us what the Trooping of the Colour event is and why it's important that she's there. <laughs> well, it's the official birthday of the, of, the, of the monarch and it's a terrific display in the Horse Guards, a great sh show of pageantry, a great moment of Britain showing the world that we are still a monarchy and much more. And, uh, of course, the Queen, the late Queen, always loved it. It was a great moment for her. Hopefully, the King will be there too, we'll see. But it's a moment when Britain actually shines and hopefully it's not raining on the day either. It's actually my earliest childhood memory was going to Troop in the Colour when I was about three years old and my father, who was a serving officer, uh, had something to do with the event. So it does, it brings back memories and it is an, a sort of key moment in the it British is, calendar. It is.